Step back into the vibrant era of late 1950s television with 77 Sunset Strip, a series that etched its mark as a classic in the industry. As we explore the enduring qualities that have secured its place in the annals of television history, one cannot help but ponder what makes this show an everlasting symbol of the industry. Was it the captivating characters, the evocative storytelling, or perhaps a blend of both that kept viewers hooked? Before delving into your personal connections with the series, let's set the stage with some intriguing facts about 77 Sunset Strip. Premiering in 1958, the show offered audiences a unique blend of private eye drama and lighthearted banter, all set against the backdrop of the glamorous Sunset Strip in Los Angeles. With suave detectives Stu Bailey and Jeff Spencer at the helm of their detective agency, the series became an instant hit, capturing the imagination of viewers and leaving an indelible mark on the television landscape. Now, as we turn our attention to you, dear reader, we invite you to share your personal stories of how 77 Sunset Strip has inspired or impacted your life. Did it ignite a passion for detective dramas? Was there a particular character or storyline that left a lasting impression on you? Your reflections add a unique layer to the tapestry of the show's legacy. And so, we leave you with one final question. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to 77 Sunset Strip? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Your anecdotes contribute to the collective appreciation of this timeless series, bridging the gap between generations of viewers who have found joy and entertainment in its episodes. Step into the nostalgic world of 77 Sunset Strip and share your thoughts with us. Your stories await. The building housing the detective's offices in 77 Sunset Strip was originally the Mary Webb Davis Modeling Agency. Although the front, Dino's Lodge driveway, and part of Dino's were replicated on a Warner Bros. soundstage, the real door's doorknob was on the left. In the early episodes, the mock-up also had it on the left, but later, for some unknown reason, they moved it to the right. The Mary Webb Davis office was eventually replaced by the Tiffany Theater, and the building has been torn down since then. Dino's Lodge segments frequently showcased the Frankie Ortega Trio, a Los Angeles-based jazz band signed with Warner Bros. Records. The trio, a staple at the actual Dino's in the 1950s and 60 seconds, often headlined the show's segments. Notably, director George Wagner's name in the credits is stylized as George Wagner, with the GG capitalized. The letter G is the seventh in the alphabet, resulting in GG equating to 77. Wagner never explained this unusual styling, leaving it to be assumed that he crafted a hidden riddle for sharp-eyed viewers to decipher. These behind-the-scenes details provide a unique glimpse into the production intricacies and subtle nods woven into the fabric of 77 Sunset Strip, enhancing the viewer's appreciation for the show's depth beyond its on-screen drama. The ownership battle over the rights to 77 Sunset Strip led to Roy Huggins' departure from Warner Bros. Despite creating the concept and the character Stuart Bailey, the pilot episode, not written by Huggins, became Warner Bros. property due to the writer's work for higher status. This legal dispute ultimately severed ties between Huggins and Warner Bros. Intriguingly, Stuart Bailey, the central character, made a stylish statement by driving a Thunderbird throughout the series. This choice added a touch of sophistication to the show and became a notable element in the portrayal of Bailey's character. Moreover, the character Kuki, played by Ed Byans, became a cultural phenomenon. His popularity soared to the extent that Byans and Connie Stevens recorded the 1959 album Kuki Star of 77 Sunset Strip, featuring the hit single Kuki, Kuki, Lend Me Your Comb. This catchy tune, inspired by Kuki's signature hair combing habit on the show, reached number four on the popular charts, showcasing the impact of television characters on music culture. These behind-the-scenes dynamics, from ownership disputes to character-driven details like Stuart Bailey's Thunderbird and Kuki's musical success, contribute to the multifaceted legacy of 77 Sunset Strip, revealing the intricate tapestry of factors that shaped this iconic 1958 TV series. In the realm of 77 Sunset Strip, the iconic Dino's Lodge played a central role. Situated at 8524 Sunset in Los Angeles, California, this establishment was owned by none other than Dean Martin himself. Despite its regular appearance in every episode, it's intriguing to note that Martin, the owner, never made an on-screen appearance or received a mention. 
As the series progressed into its sixth season, Stuart Bailey's office underwent a change in location, shifting to the Bradbury Building, a recognized Los Angeles landmark. This alteration added a layer of authenticity to the show's setting, immersing viewers in the vibrant backdrop of California's urban landscape. Dino's Lodge, with its ties to Dean Martin, and the transition of Bailey's office to the Bradbury Building, exemplify the meticulous details woven into the fabric of 77 Sunset Strip. These subtle nuances, from real-world locations to the involvement of iconic figures, contribute to the show's enduring legacy. The restaurant's ultimate demise in 1989 marked the end of an era, but the imprint it left on the series and its viewers endures is a testament to the rich history of 77 Sunset Strip. It's a narrative that goes beyond the scripted drama, offering a glimpse into the dynamic interplay of real-world elements within the realm of television. Sponsors played a pivotal role in the success of the 77 Sunset Strip series. Anison Aspirin, Sirt's Breath Mints with the Golden Drop of Ritzin, and Salem Cigarettes were prominently featured, reflecting the advertising landscape of the late 1950s. These brands became woven into the fabric of the show, a testament to the era's marketing dynamics. Transitioning into the final season, the network made a bold move, entrusting the creative reins to Jack Webb and William Conrad. Their impact was profound as they executed a drastic overhaul, dismissing the entire cast except Ephraim Zimbalist Jr., who portrayed Stuart Bailey. Zimbalist's character underwent a transformation, evolving into an international spy. This marked a significant shift, showcasing the behind-the-scenes decisions that shaped the show's concluding chapter. Delving into the character of Stuart Bailey, it's interesting to note that he originated from the mind of series creator Roy Huggins. Initially appearing in one novel and three short stories, Huggins' creation made his on-screen debut in the movie I Love Trouble, portrayed by Franchot Toe. This historical context adds depth to Stuart Bailey's on-screen presence, highlighting his evolution from the pages of literature to the television screen. These behind-the-scenes intricacies, from the influence of sponsors to the transformative decisions in the final season, and the character's literary origins, collectively contribute to the multifaceted legacy of 77 Sunset Strip. The series not only entertained viewers, but also serves as a reflection of the era's advertising and creative dynamics, providing a unique lens into the world of 1950s television. As the sun sets on our journey through the nostalgic lanes of 77 Sunset Strip, I encourage you to take a moment and reflect on the personal tapestry this 1958 TV series has woven into your life. Whether it's the suave charm of Stu Bailey or the intriguing escapades that kept you on the edge of your seat, there's something profoundly special about the era captured in each episode. Now, picture yourself in a dimly lit room, the glow of the television casting a cinematic spell. Did 77 Sunset Strip serve as a portal to a bygone era, where the mysteries were as enigmatic as the jazz notes playing in the background? Or perhaps, it was the characters who became companions in your living room, making you feel like a part of their detective exploits. In this digital age, where every click transports us to new realms, there's a certain magic in revisiting the black and white allure of 77 Sunset Strip. It's a reminder of the simplicity and elegance that defined an era, an era that continues to resonate in the hearts of those who cherish the show. As we bid adieu to the sun-soaked boulevards and detective intrigues, I invite you to share your treasured memories or reflections on 77 Sunset Strip. What moments linger in your mind? Which character left an indelible mark on your soul? Let this be a collective celebration of the timeless allure of a series that transcends generations. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane. Your thoughts and memories add another layer to the rich tapestry of 77 Sunset Strip's legacy. Until we meet again, keep the spirit of nostalgia alive in your hearts.